Hey there, YouTube. I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you all had a nice week out there. Um, can't complain here. Um, I've gotten a good bit of vitamin D this week. Every day but today has been really pretty good weather. Got a lot of walking in, and uh, just thought I'd come and do a video with you guys. Today I want to talk about why people fail on a raw food diet. Uh, guys, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go down there now and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel and come back and check out some more of my content during these times while people are trying to find things to do. Also, too, I'm having a fun time on Instagram and, um, I mean, on YouTube, just searching out wacky videos. These days, there's some wacky videos out there, a lot of good conspiracy stuff as my little guilty pleasure. I like to go watch those things and just see how wacky out there it gets. But uh, anyhow, I hope everybody's just kind of keeping themselves busy and in a good mental state. Basically, I'm just going to repeat my message over and over and over and over in different words until it hits home one day. This is a simple lifestyle. I was on Instagram earlier today doing a little bit of work, making some comments, uh, networking a little bit. And I just noticed all the stuff over there because I was doing a little hashtag um, research. And I go in and everything is so complicated. And God bless people that are food people. I don't ever want it to sound like I'm throwing shade just because people aren't lazy like me, people that actually prepare food. But I'm like, for Christ's sakes, when you got a hundred recipes, I can't even fathom like recipe after recipe after recipe and just constantly coming up with something new all the time. Now, once again, I would never really recommend my methods to other people because people would be like, you're just an idiot. You eat the same things over and over day after day. And that's true. And as I kind of keep always repeating, a lot of it has to do with my lifestyle as well. Being a single guy, I live by myself. I eat by myself all the time. So, you know, you just don't get real inspired to always be making something different. But this is a very simple lifestyle. And the three things I'm going to talk about today that I think keep, cause people to fail on this lifestyle are just three basic ones that I talk about over and over and over again. But I'm going to keep talking about them over and over and over again until people understand that it doesn't have to be this complicated thing and you don't have to know, okay, do I have to eat exactly this much of this and how much of this and do I have to have these and is it okay if I do this? It's, you're eating food. You're feeding your body. It's not as, I mean, okay, you do have to you know, come to a new way of thinking if you're coming from uh, eating the standard American diet, but it's still, it's, it's feeding your body. Um, what do I talk about all the time? The greens. So many people fail on this lifestyle. And when I say this lifestyle, you can, you can just lump a lot of plant-based eating in general, whether it's raw or not. I think a lot of uh, vegans, whether, they, whether or how much raw they eat, they fail because they're not getting the greens in. That's one thing I just believe in. Listen, if you don't believe in that, we, we would just have to agree to disagree always because you're never going to change my mind on the importance of greens. So and you need it's a lot of greens and i and to be honest with you as much as i preach about the greens i should be a little bit more diligent of even making sure i'm getting as much as i need every day i still don't feel like i get as many greens as i need all the time last week now that i'm by shopping like one day a week I have a little bit more grasp of like what I'm getting and how much I'm using during the time. Now, last week, for instance, here's a good little example because I'm buying all my stuff and then I, I, when it runs out, I go back and buy. Last week before this past shopping, the week before my past shopping, I had gone through three pounds of kale, three 16 ounce bags of kale, one 16 ounce bag of spinach, three or four, no, four large heads of um, uh, romaine or green leaf lettuce. I had one, some, it was mixed in there. Um, and then every day when I have my green smoothies, I put a couple of tablespoons of daily green boost in there. I, I swear by that stuff. So even with all of that, I'm always feeling like I could get some more greens in. Look into the greens. Like I said in another video and like I've, I've mentioned to some people in comments, uh, medical medium can explain the green thing way better than I can. And it's one of his first podcasts, wherever you listen to podcasts, go search medical medium. And they're one of the first ones that pops up as a talk on greens. 
Um, another one, and these are just things like sometimes I like to go through and evaluate. And this is not me judging people. This is just me evaluating the process and how things work for my own purposes. But sometimes I go watch people or I go through and I think about all the people that I've seen fail and some of the common characteristics. Another one, too much fat, too much fat. Too much fat. So many of the people that are not getting the result, well, I can't lose the weight. Well, stop, get your damn fingers out of the peanut butter or the almond butter. Stop eating, you know, one a full avocado every single day, two avocados every day. And a lot of times people just don't realize, um, you know, how much fat is they're getting throughout the day. That's why I'm always saying too, food journal, food journal, food journal. So it's right there in front of you. But, and I'm not saying you've got to be fanatic on that. I'm not as, I'm, I'm a little looser on the fat than I used to be, but I still stay in a range. I would still say anywhere between 10 and 20%. Once you start getting over 20%, and there's some people that have that dietary need, but once you start getting all the people, let's just put it the simple way. That's just one of the common characteristics. A lot of the people that I see their video, I'm no longer wrong vegan, or whether they have a presence or not, they're just like, yeah, I had to leave the raw vegan lifestyle. I followed those people. I've seen the kind of food they're posting, and it's full of nuts. It's full of fat. Every single sauce they make is just, you know, just full of it. And you're not going to heal your body with that high fat, especially not if in the beginning. I mean, you know, I think possibly once our body heals a little bit when we come from the standard American diet or something else to this lifestyle, you know, it may be there's advantage of being a lower fat in the beginning and maybe later on after you've healed a little bit, you know, you've gotten some of the advantage of this lifestyle. But so many people start this and from the beginning they're eating gobs of fat and then they can't lose weight. And I'm like, well, what are you eating? There's always too much, there's almost, almost I don't like to say always, there's al almost every case I've ever looked at or talked to people or seen or whatever, it's always too much fat in there. Always too much fat in there. And the third one is generally people, and these are just characteristics. This is just like kind of not very scientific, but just okay if I see the most common, like this person failed, you see these characteristics. This person's no longer raw, this characteristics too much processed food. And let me add again that this, this applies to whatever. I don't care if you're trying to do a raw food diet. I don't care if you're trying to do a full raw food diet, a high raw food diet. Maybe you're not eating any raw food, but I would still say the advice would be the same on any version of a plant-based diet is get rid of the processed food. Always remember, let's say whole food plant-based diet. You know, you can't, it's not enough just to say plant-based diet. You can say a plant-based diet, or you can go to the plant-based section of a Whole Foods, of your grocery store or whatever, and there's a lot of processed food in there. It's plant-based, but it's not those outside, those out, that outside aisle where the produce section is. That's the whole, that's the whole food, plant-based. I mix the words up sometimes, but that's where you get into Whole Foods. Eat the Whole Foods, whether it's raw, whether it's cooked. Um, eat real food, eat real food. That's, it, it's as simple as that. There's so many dyes, there's so many preservatives, there's so many chemicals. It just, uh, I, I mean, I can't sit here and go, okay, well, you have these dyes and these chemicals and it does this and it impedes this certain process in the body, but just like too much fat, those chemicals come together and they impede the healing of the body. They impede the cleansing out of your body. It's just not natural stuff in your body. Um, it's not a lot of that processed food. It's not even things that your body recommends. Now, just just for instance, and I'm not by no means um, suggesting you eat butter, but some of the fake stuff like the margarines and the things that they came out with after butter, they're so bad on the body because they have substance. I just remember hearing an explanation of this one time. They have s things in them, substances in them, chemicals in them that your body doesn't even recognize that as food. It doesn't even know how to process some of this processed food. And also, just to kind of finish up here, when I say process, you'll have the literal person out there, and they're like, well, everybody eats process. I'm talking to a certain extent. I'm not talking about if it has actually gone through a process, but you know what I'm talking about when I'm saying processed food. In other words, if you can pick up something, and if you're looking and it's got a, you know, if it's got an um, ingredient list, of 
50 and 37 of them are words you can't pronounce. Do you really want to put that into your body? But it's just as simple as that. I eat a whole food plant-based diet every day. Let's see how many days we've been in quarantine now, whether it's for your health, whether it's for your weight, whether it's for whatever. I've eaten, I eat like a maniac every day. In fact, I might need to stop my walking <laughs> so I can keep the weight on. But I went into this... Uh, I went into this whole quarantine -y thing, I guess it was back in uh, early March now. I'm within two pounds, and that's probably two pounds less of what I was when I went into this. I don't think about it. I can, listen, let me just finish with this. I'm just trying to make this lifestyle as attractive to you as possible. What's another one of my overused cliches? The cleaner you eat, the more you can eat. I see so many people worrying about how much they're eating. Let me just put it in perspective. I eat, uh, I'm never hungry, never hungry, never hungry, never, 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 never. As soon as I'm hungry, I eat. A lot of times, depending on what I'm doing and maybe I know I'm going somewhere, I don't even necessarily wait until I'm hungry to eat. I just have certain times, certain things I eat throughout the day, but it's really as simple as that. Don't complicate this lifestyle. Anyhow, good to see you guys today. Just wanted to connect. If you like this one, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, maybe give it a share from time to time. Uh, that would help my algorithm if you'd share these sometime. Uh, I don't really ever mention that. And I'll see you again in a few days. Might even do another. This is a Friday video. I might even do one uh, tomorrow, but we'll see. Peace.